It was the bris of the grandson of Ramosha Hebroni, one of the Rosh Yeshiva of Hebron, who also happened to be the grandson, the child of the Ger Rebbe. And there was a host of great Gedolim's grandchildren there. Listen to who was there. Grandchildren of the Chavetz Chaim, this is happening in Eretz Yisrael, the Sloan Rebbe, the Vizhnitzer Rebbe, the Ger Rebbe, the Levush Mordechai, the Altar of Navarre, the Altar of Mir, the Altar of Slobodka, the grandchildren were all there at the Bris. And got up the main great Rosh Hashiva of Hebron, of Chatzkel Sarna, one of the Talmidim of Hakim of the Altar of Slobodka, we learned about him, uh, five minutes of the Gedolim, and he said, who was the single person who had the greatest effect on Claudius in the last hundred years? Hmm. Probably one of the grandfathers of those assembled. And Rav Chatzko continued and said, you know what, this person never learned a block Gemara. Everybody was puzzled. Who could it be? And he took another step and he says, and when I say the name, you'll all agree that this was the person who had the greatest effect on Klai Yisrael. And he said the name, Sorosh Nir, the founder, the mother of the Beis Yaakov movement. Without her, the whole face of Klai Yisrael would be so totally different. She was the one that Rav Chatzkel said had the greatest effect. The story was told by Rav Noach Weinberg, the founder of uh, Rosh Hashiva Vesha Torah, the pioneer of the Kirov movement, who happens to be that his sister learned by Sarshnir, she was, I think, the only American who traveled back then by boat to Krakow in Poland to learn by Sarshnir, sent by Rav Noach's father, Yitzhak Matisyahu, but that's a story we'll tell another time that I happen to have heard from him in front of the Krakow Seminary. But I'm super excited to begin this series to unpack that story, to understand what it was she did, what was the Beis Yaakov all about, what was happening before, how did it catch on, how far did it go, was she acting alone, did she have a great supporting staff, were men involved, was she revolutionary, was she a feminist, who was Sarshnira, what was Beis Yaakov all about, why did it have such a great effect. I'm particularly excited to share this series because it's about a woman, to share the very Torah, biographical information, and some insight into what she had done because I believe I'm one of those who would love to see a lot more books written about great Jewish women. The Jewish men should read those books, but particularly Jewish women should read these books as great as Gedolim books are, and I'm someone who has read many, many Gedolim books and loves them. Um, but for a woman, it would make sense to learn about women. So I hope that, uh, that, that especially a lot of women tuning in will gain a lot from this, but for sure the men have a tremendous amount to, to, uh, to learn from her. I know I've gained from studying the life of Sarah Schneer, and I hope that we'll, we'll have a great journey together over these next 10, 12, 13 weeks. So everybody should uh, buckle up and look forward to going deeply into the life of this great woman, Mother Sarah.